Now, is it just me or does it seem like it's taking forever for us to get to this Ravens Bucks Monday Night Football game? It just seems like the days are going by extra, extra slow. Like it's only Saturday. So we got to get through all of Saturday. Then tomorrow we got to get through all those games. And then we got to wait the whole day on Monday night to see our Baltimore Ravens take on them Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But I'm sure it'll be worth the wait. But what are we looking forward to in that game? We're looking forward to seeing Lamar Jackson. We're looking forward to seeing Derrick Henry. We're looking forward to seeing Marlon Humphrey. Even a, a redemption game for Brandon Stevens. Because we're tired of him just being so close but not cutting it. This could be a really nice game for him. We're also looking forward to seeing our guy Zay Flowers continue to do what he's been doing. But another way that we can support Zay Flowers and show Zay Flowers some love is by getting this Heart of the City Zay Flowers Human Joystick hoodie. The link to get it is in the description. It's also in the pinned comment, so I try to make it as easy as possible for you. And use code ENGRAVEN20 to get 20% off your Human Joystick hoodie. Now, big news for this game against the Bucks. Uh, and speaking of wide receivers, we know one of the best wide receivers in the game is on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But he really hasn't been practicing much this week. Uh, a couple of days, for the past couple of days, he missed those two practices. They said today he was able to do some stuff. But uh, this was a report that came out. It said Bucks coach Todd Bowles said that Mike Evans will be a game time decision. Uh, he didn't practice the last two days, but was able to do some things today. So that could be really big for the Buccaneers. Because think about this. If Mike Evans is a game time decision, then, and, and again, he hasn't been practicing uh, much this week, and he only did a little, little bit of things today. But if he's a game time decision, then that means even though he might play, he might not even really be a full goal. He might not be the Mike Evans that we all know and, and love and respect. So that could play big in this game for sure. But obviously it could be even bigger if Mike Evans doesn't even suit up. So that's something that obviously going to be watching for uh, over these next couple of days. But, I mean, we won't know till 90 minutes before kickoff whether Mike Evans is a go or not. So we'll keep our eyes out on that. Uh, but also some news for the Baltimore Ravens. John Harbaugh decided, you know what? It's Saturday. Let me pop out real quick. Let me do a, just a random press conference real quick. But it wasn't so random because Deontay Hardy. Let's read the report from Jameson Hills. He says, Ravens wide receiver Deontay Hardy uh, will be placed on injured reserve. John Harbaugh said, this is not season ending. Ravens expect him to return this season. So Ravens doing a little bit of roster. Not even necessarily manipulation, but Deontay Hardy. Remember last week? He was, like, randomly inactive. You're like, man, what happened to Deontay Hardy? He had been practicing and whatnot. Then, boom, uh, he didn't play in a game. And John Harbaugh just said it was some little minor stuff and whatnot. But now he'll be missing at least, at minimum, the next four games. Now, with that being said, what do the Baltimore Ravens do at kick returner? Because at kick returner, they've had Justice Hill uh, and they've had uh, Chris Collier. And it really hasn't been anything crazy we know justice here we know he can do kick returns he's done kick returns in the past before um but i wonder if the baltimore ravens will add somebody back there to just to really liven it up a bit to give us a bigger chance but who could that possibly be y'all got any suggestions on who you would put back there at kick return well let, let, let's see what the baltimore ravens do in a couple of days now in other roster news um said that ravens coach john harbaugh would not indicate whether cornerback Arthur Millette will be activated off of injured reserve for Monday night's game against the Bucks. Now, there is a spot that just opened up on the roster. So if Arthur Millette is ready, if he is ready to be a full goal, then the Baltimore Ravens, they can go ahead and put him on the roster. Um, but Jamison Henson also pointed out that Baltimore has to make a decision by Wednesday, which is the end of Arthur Millette's window. So, Time is ticking. Today's Saturday. Uh, if, for whatever reason, he is not a go this game against the Bucs, this Monday night against the Bucks, then the Ravens will have two more days to make that final decision on Arthur Millette. And like we've said before, whether Arthur Millette is 100% ready to go or if he's like 70, 75%, 80%, I think the Ravens are going to activate him. Like, even if he ain't fully ready, because I do not think they want to run the risk of losing him for the – or it wouldn't even be a risk to lose him for the rest of the season. If he ain't activated by Wednesday, then he's done for the year. So I don't think the Ravens are even going to put themselves through that. So I'm, like, 99% sure he's getting activated one way or another, whether he's 100% healthy or not. It's just really a matter of time. 
now we're here my favorite part of these videos where we get to feature your questions if you would like to be part of it you can send me an email to team keep it clean at gmail.com or for the team keep it clean patrons you can send it directly on patreon if you would like to become a team keep it clean patron you can go to patreon.com slash engraven viz and i gotta issue an apology because yesterday oh man yesterday we was out all day um so i did not even i posted the video but i had made that video at like two in the morning um yesterday and posted of course yesterday afternoon but i did not even look at the comments yet so my apologies my apologies like i always say i, I try to look at all the comments and try to respond to as many as we possibly can uh so i don't want to make y'all feel like y'all just typing comments for nothing because y'all are appreciated y'all really are seriously i, I love y'all and i love everything about y'all i appreciate y'all support because it means literally everything so my apologies on that now uh, we got a question from a team keep it clean patron my guy Derek, he said, Engraven, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, Derek? What's going on, baby? He said, let me just jump straight into it. With the whole Marcus Williams thing, he may be clear to play by the doctor's order, but he's in pain still. Trust me, I know, because like him, I have pain in both my arms. I have tendonitis, golfer's elbow in both my arms, all from just lifting weights. Mm, just picking up my backpack, pulling out my math book and laptop for classes. Painful at time, for me at times. Now imagine how Marcus Williams must feel tackling guys or hitting guys who are 200 pounds and up. Hmm. You know what? That is a um. That's something to think about. That's something to think about with Marcus Williams. Is he still hurt? Um. Uh, because we saw. Remember with Kyle Hamilton earlier this season, we were thinking like, hold up, what? Mm, we know Kyle Hamilton, and we know how he could. This ain't the same Kyle Hamilton that we know. And it was like that for the first couple of weeks, but then after that, oh yeah, like, oh, okay, he's good now. He, he back to normal. But with Marcus Williams. It hasn't been so back to normal. I know a lot of people have pointed out how he um, sort of is not really an aggressor when it comes to tackling people. Not really an aggressor when it comes to just really getting after it. Could it be because he's playing hurt right now? It, it could be. It, it might be. Um, that could possibly be a contributing factor because he's dealt with some nagging injuries ever since he's been a Raven. It's been so crazy. He's been healthy his whole career. Then all of a sudden he gets to the Raven. I don't know. But... Let's continue. He said, uh, remember the effort he put last year in the Titans game to tackle our King Henry uh, when he was still with the Titans? Marcus was still hurt. And even though he was uh, backed, remember when everyone was giving him the nickname, the one arm safety? Oh, yeah, I, I remember that for sure. I remember that for sure. Uh, and he said, he all playing through pain. Uh, it messes with you mentally, my brother. Look at Derrick Rose. Uh, not all of us can bounce back like Adrian Peterson and another all-time great Kobe Bryant, rest in peace. Uh, it's all mental for Marcus. He needs to overcome it, and he will. Man, that, that's, that's real right there. Um, and, and that would make sense if Marcus Williams is playing uh, with some pain um, in his upper body. Now, with, with that being said, um, what better way, what better time to come out of that? And, and if he's still dealing with something, I mean, you can't necessarily just come out of it all of a sudden. Um, cause if you're still dealing with it, you're still dealing with it, but what, what better, um, opportunity than to do it in front of the world on Monday night football? 